What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. So we are going to be going over today how to cut a side fringe. And the reason I want to make this video is I really want to go even more in depth than I've ever gone with cutting one type of bang. Now, if you like this video, I can make more and all the different types of bangs and all of that. But this one's just going over a side swept bang and it's probably one of the more difficult ones to cut. And the reason for that is a lot of people do either slide cutting and they do things that create weight within that fringe. So today what I want to share with you is how to do it without creating the weight. So we're going to call this pretty much the perfect side bang. The cool thing about this fringe today is the fact that it's going to be super versatile. You can use it on any guest that sits in your chair. Um, the reason why you can use it on any guest is because we're going to go over the techniques that work to create this bang and make it perfect on every guest. It's not just one size fits all. So I'm going to share with you guys the, what you need to be thinking about as you're doing the bang so that you get a successful result every single time. So I'm sure you guys want to learn this. Let's get started. Here we go. So to start off this technique, what I'm looking for is that sweet spot, that area where the fringe wants to fall to the front. That's going to be where you want to section off. So a lot of people are always looking for the perfect section. That's the way you find it. There you go. You're looking for that hairline. It should meet right there. And that's the hair that's going to fall forward. Now I take out a guide piece and by piece, I mean literally a piece. And then I slide cut to create my guideline where I want the fringe to start. Uh, that's an easy technique to do. Then when I'm going through, I'm bringing everything over to me on the other side, on her left hand side, and I'm cutting everything parallel to the parting. So notice I take my parting, it's a diagonal forward parting, I bring it over to me, but my finger angle is matching up with what's right in front of me. So keep your fingers parallel, that's gonna help with not getting too much weight pushed to the opposite side. The other thing that's gonna help with not getting too much weight is your elevation. So notice that the head tilts and moves away, right? So as I'm moving up her head shape, it's getting away from me. So if I keep cutting everything at the same elevation, it's going to get heavier and heavier. So I do a slight bit more elevation as I work through this section. And then the last bit, I don't want to over direct it all the way over to the other side of the chair. I keep my fingers parallel and I work right along that line to create a nice soft feel. So those are the key things to cutting a nice light fringe. Also here, I don't want to go too deep on the weak side. I just want to have a little piece that connects in. So I go from the hairline down, just like on the opposite side, and I cut parallel to that line as well. That connects everything together. Then you can do an, a full haircut beyond that. I take Paul Mitchell, hold me tight, and I spray that through the hair. And you can see how much uh, texture, movement, how light that fringe looks, how consistent it looks. That's your end result. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, and like always, if you like the video, then make sure you share this video with all of your hairdresser friends out there and make sure you hit the like button. I love seeing that. And also, if you made it to the end of this video, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to see that. Maybe I'll give away something. Maybe I got something from Paul Mitchell to give away to one of you lucky people in the comments below. So post a comment below. I look forward to making another video for you guys real soon. Thanks for watching.